Hello everyone. Today we will start another topic of calc for class that is sharing worksheet data. So sometimes you need a file or a worksheet to be shared by multiple users. In that case, we can enable the sharing of data so that they can do editing and they can work on a worksheet together. So if you want multiple users to work on a worksheet together or simultaneously, in that case, we can enable sharing in a worksheet. So for that, we have to go to Calc and then we can go to Tools and click on Share Document. So, and then you can click on this option, Share this spreadsheet with other users and then click on OK. So when you click on OK, you will see on the title bar, the uh, sh word shared will appear. So first of all, you have to save the file. So I'm saving the file here. Save the file with any name. Suppose the name of the file is first. So uh, you will see the word shared will appear in the title bar along with the name of the file. The name of the file is first. So when you share the document, there are certain options we don't work. Like suppose if you want to do consolidate, multiple operations, subtotals, uh, these options won't work in a shared worksheet. Okay, so I am just in disabling the option of share here. So we can go to share and just uncheck this option of sharing and click on OK. So sharing is basically used when you want multiple users to work on the worksheet at the same time. Now suppose this is your worksheet which has been made by your class teacher. She has entered the marks of different subjects of her class. These are the different students and these are the marks of different subjects. Now after entering the marks, she wants to give these this worksheet to different subject teachers. Like suppose your class teacher has made all the entries. Now she wants to give this worksheet to English teacher, math teacher and Hindi teacher and other teachers for reviewing whether the entries are correct or not. For reviewing purpose, she is giving the worksheet. Now what if she wants it? Uh, like suppose Hindi teacher has made some changes here and there. Like suppose she has made the changes, she has increased the marks of this student and then she saw that uh, this uh, boy has not given the test but his marks are entered here. So she deleted the marks of this student. Now how will the teacher when she gets the, uh, this worksheet back after the reviewing by the, by the Hindi teacher, how will she know what changes were done? So for that, she can enable the option of record changes. So record changes means uh, when you give a worksheet, uh, when you want uh, some other people to review the worksheet, to review the work done by you. So in that case, once the person has reviewed the work, they can also record the changes. So whenever any change is being done, uh, it will be highlighted. So basically, suppose this is a worksheet made by your class teacher and then suppose she gives this worksheet or she mails this worksheet to three different teachers for reviewing purpose in that case. So one, suppose uh, this is your, so for that case, they can use the option of uh, record changes. So edit, changes, record. So now suppose math teacher did some changes in the worksheet. So math teacher saw that this is 45, her marks were increased to 50. Okay, then he saw that this 88 uh, are wrongly written. Suppose this student has not given the math paper by mistake, his marks are written over here. So he deleted these marks. Okay, then he saw one more student was there in the list whose name is not here. So he added the name of that student. Suppose the name of the student is Priya and then he added the marks of uh, math for that particular student. So now some changes are done. So now you have seen we have done what? We have done edit changes, record changes. Okay, so that means whatever changes you do now, they will be recorded and how they are recorded, those cells will be highlighted with a red color border. So if you can see, so when the teacher will get the sheet back, she can easily see that these changes are done by the math teacher. These four cells has been changed. Now there is one more thing called as comments. So when you just place your mouse, when you hover the mouse over the cell in which are highlighted, basically you will see the comment. The comment shows, you can see a small box here on the top, on the, on the right side. It is showing what? New, the name of the author. It is showing the date, time when the change was done. So it is showing cell C2 has been changed from 45 to 50. That means earlier the value of C2 was 45. Now it is changed to 50. Now if you see here, it is showing cell C6 change from 88 to empty. That means earlier some value 88 was there. Now this cell is empty. Similarly, it is showing cell C8 change from empty to 70. So earlier it was empty, there was no content in this cell. Now there is some value 
70 which has been added in this cell so whenever you do some changes after recording the changes if any change is being done by other person it will be highlighted with a red color border so and you just hover the mouse and you will see the comment the comment shows details about the change the author who has done the change date and time when the cell content was changed and what was the change what exactly the cell content changed so th this description is given in comments box okay so if you want to add your own comments okay then you can go to edit suppose in this cell you want to add comment so if suppose you click on this cell then this edit uh, changes comment option will not work why because there is no comment added in this cell this cell is not changed now only the cells which are highlighted with red color they are the changed cells other cells are not changed so just place the cursor just click on the cell in which uh, some changes are being done go to edit changes comments okay now a text is there so suppose i am writing marks increased so uh, i am just adding some customized comments so there are some default comment which is coming you can add your own comment suppose i have given the comment marks increased so now you will see when you hover the mouse on this cell it will show you the comment which i have added that is marks increased so that will also be shown along with the by default comment so this way we can add the comment now suppose uh, suppose the class teacher gets the sheet back from the math teacher after the changes he has done she saw these changes now it is up to her whether because she is the original author it is up to her whether she wants to accept or reject the changes so for that you can go to edit menu again changes so earlier we have recorded the change now we will click on accept or reject changes so click on accept reject changes it is showing here cell c2 the marks has been increased earlier it was 45 now it is 50 you can just increase the size of this dialog box so if you accept the change if you do like to keep these marks you can accept now the second is this one so that means this cell was earlier uh, this cell had some value here now it has been deleted because this student has not given the marks but suppose she wants to reject the change she wants to give the marks to the students for any reason basically you can reject if you reject the changes whatever the changes were done by the math teacher will be rejected so now suppose the math teacher has added one more student's name if you click on accept these marks will be added if she click on reject the marks which are added here will be rejected so either you can click on accept or reject one by one to see to accept or reject the changes one by one or you can click on accept all or reject all to accept or reject all the changes together so suppose i'm accepting this change so now all the changes are being accepted and re uh, rejected so uh, one more change it is showing so i'm accepting that change also so all the changes are now accepted or rejected so i'm closing this dialog box now suppose if you want to stop recording the changes like suppose if i'm adding something again it is recording the changes i want to stop recording the changes in that case i'll go to edit changes uncheck this option of record and click on yes okay so now if you make any changes these changes will not be recorded so if i'm making any changes here so these changes are not recorded okay so so all these options are under edit menu edit changes record edit changes accept or reject the changes edit changes comment to add some comment we have seen what is the use of record changes okay so record changes means whenever the sheet is being shared by other users if they do some changes they will be recorded they will be highlighted now suppose your uh, the person forgets to record the changes now suppose your class teacher sends this file to different subject teachers but she forgets to enable record changes option so suppose your math teacher did some changes like suppose he increased the marks of cr to 40 but these changes are not highlighted so how will she know what changes were done how will she review the changes in that case she can use the option of compare documents so suppose this is the original file and suppose i am saving this file with some other name i am going to file save as i am writing the name second <clears throat> suppose this is a file which is being changed by math teacher so math teacher has done some changes here he has increased the marks of ann from 45 to 50 then he decreased the marks of sam from 55 suppose he increased the marks of sam to fit from 55 to 60 and for cr he increased it to 35 so these changes were done save the file <clears throat> now after saving the file you can go to edit compare documents so you can see this is second file this is the edited file 
So you have to compare the edited file with the original file. So edit compare document. Select the original file, the first file. <coughs> Click on OK. So three changes were done. The content of C2 was changed from 45 to 50. You can accept the change. C3 was changed from 55 to 60. You can reject or accept the change. <coughs> Similarly, C7 was changed from 33 to 35. You can accept the change or reject the change. So as you can see, compare document is used when you have forget to record the change, but still you can review the changes by using the compare document option. There is one more option called merge. Merge is used when you have enabled record changes. Compare document is used when you forget to record the changes while giving the sheet to other users. So suppose I first enable record changes, edit changes record. Record changes is enabled. So save this file now. Now suppose this file is given to English teacher. So I'm just saving this file with the name. I'm first of all saving this file. Okay, now I'm saving this file with the name English. So English, suppose English teacher did some changes here and there. Uh, increase the marks to 60 and uh, increase the marks to 92. So these changes were done. Close the file. Okay. Now I'm just again opening the first file. So open again, opening the first file. <clears throat> so this is the original file. First file. This file was also given to math teacher. I am saving this file as maths. Okay, so this is my math file. Math teacher also did some changes. He just increased the marks of CR to 35. So as you can see, since record changes were enabled, so these changes are highlighted. Save the file. Now, similarly, there might be other subject teachers also. I've written only three subjects. There can be more than three subjects also. So she received all the files back. Suppose there are six, seven subjects and she receives all the files back. Now she has to review the changes in each subject one by one which will be a very tedious task. So what she can do is she can review all the changes sent by different subject teachers together. Just like you know, files li, ek English ki file thi, maths ki file thi. Both the teachers has done some change. Similarly, there can be Hindi teacher, SST teacher, science, maths, so many teachers will be there. Now she gets so many files back. She, it will be a lot of, it will take a lot of time to review all the changes together, but there is an option called merge document. So first of all, you have to open the first file, the original file, go to edit, changes, merge document. She can review the changes from all the files together by using this option of merge document. So these are the files which she has to merge. So first of all, I'll click on uh, match document, click on open. <laughs> okay. So she can review the changes. So first of all, she can see this uh, cell has been changed from 33 to 35. She can accept the change. Okay. So this is the original file which she has changed with the mass file. Again, she can go to edit and then click on changes and then click on merge document. And then she can select the option of English, click on open. And then she can see these were the changes which were done by the English teacher. You can accept or reject the changes. So she has accepted both the changes now. So these are the two options which she can use. Uh, so I'll just give you a brief review of all these things together. So first of all, we have done record changes to highlight the changes which are done by other users. Okay, then to view what changes were done, we can use the option of comments, edit changes comments. We just hover the mouse on the cells which were changed to see the comments. Okay, so first of all, we'll go to edit record changes and whatever changes we are doing will be highlighted. Just place your mouse over the cells where the changes were done. It will show you detail of the changes like the cell has been changed from 66 to 60. We can give our own comments by going to edit changes comment. We can write our own comments here. Suppose I have written the comment increased marks. So some customized comments I've given. So when you hover the mouse now, it will show you the customized comment which I have written. Now suppose before giving the file to other users for reviewing purpose, the person forgets to record the changes. Now if you forget to record the changes, whatever changes you have done will not be highlighted. 
so how will the original author know what changes were done so in that case we can use the option of compare document and in compare document you have to open the edited file and compare it with the original file second option is merge merge is used merge is used when you have recorded the changes before giving the file to other users for reviewing purpose in this case you have to open the original file and compare it with edited file whereas in case of compare document you have to open the edited file in this case you have to open the edited file and compare it with original file so this is the difference between compare and merge compare is used when you forget to record the changes before sharing it with other users merge is used when you have recorded the changes before sharing it with other users and in merging you have to open the original file and merge it with the edited file compare you have to open the edited file and compare it with the original file so this is the difference between these two options i hope it is clear to you now